guys, welcome back to the Bubbly Leaf Workshop. I can't say my own name. <laughs> my name is Jess, and if you guys haven't seen my other videos, feel free to go check those out. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make Pokemon themed planters. For our planters, I actually have some bonsai trees over here that I've been growing. Nice and little. This is my smallest one. This one came out a little bit bigger, but I've actually been growing other ones like this and they're like this much bigger so I know that growing them like this is working and they are bonsai. <laughs> Bonsaiing, bonding, I don't know the term, but they're bonsai trees. But yeah, those will be planted in our little habitats so let's get started on our video. To make my Pokemon habitats, I'm starting with these old reptile dishes that I have lying around the house. You can get these basically at any pet store or Walmart even. I'm making one of my dishes a fire habitat and the other one a ice habitat. For this, the first one I'm going to paint bright orange and yellow in the cracks of the rocks. For the other one, I'm going to paint bright blues. After your oranges and your blues on each of the dishes are dried, you're going to paint the rocks themselves. For the ice habitat, I'm using a white paint, a pearl, iridescent paint, along with some glitter. For the fire habitat, I'm painting the rocks a brass metallic paint. After your paint has all dried, you're going to want to resin over everything. After mixing my resin, all I need to do is get a cheap paintbrush and brush over all of the surface. After you have them completely covered in resin, you're going to want to let them sit overnight, or at least 24 hours. I'm using an X-Acto knife to go over the edges of the dish, removing the extra resin and the paper that stuck to it. You'll need to be extremely careful with this because exacto knives are very sharp. I recommend wearing leather gloves. I'm not doing that, but again, I'm recommending it. Okay, now that we're done trimming off the extra resin, it's time to put a layer of felt on the bottom. This will help keep your planter from scratching surfaces that you want to have it resting on. Now that our dishes are all finished, it's time to plant our bonsai trees in them. For this I have some soil, along with a couple stones and crystals to decorate. The 
fire habitat, I decided to put a Torchic in. And for the ice habitat, well, I didn't have an ice Pokemon, so I thought, why not? Okay, that'll be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. If so, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll have some more videos up soon. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!